Welcome back. So in this part we are going to talk about the different units of length in Android. So whenever we publish our app in the market, various users having the various screen size and the screen densities are going to use. And we need to make sure that our app runs smoothly and the user experience is great on each of those devices. So we need to carefully design our user interface and selecting the correct length is one of the important part of the user interface design. In order to show how we can use the different units of lens in Android so that our user interface looks more nice and responsible, I have taken the five text view and I have assigned each of them with the different different units. So first one is assigned with 30 scale independent pixel and second one is assigned with 30 dp which stands for device independent pixel. And third one is assigned with the 30 PT and the PT stands for points. And fourth one is assigned with 30 DIP and DIP stands for device independent pixel. And this DIP and this DP means the same thing and we can use this interchangeably whenever we want. And the last one is assigned with 30 pixel. So you might have problem on seeing this but it is assigned with 30 pixel. And this button text is assigned with 40 XP. Now if you look at this application, it might look that everything is working fine. So everything look nice. But here is a small problem with this application. So let's try to do some experiment with it. So I want to go to the setting and increase my texture. And let me come back to my own application. And if you observe this, the bottom text is hidden and we don't want to let it happen, right? And the cause of this problem is that whenever the user changes their scale of the font, then it is automatically going to be updated. But since our bottom has the fixed length 30 dp and 100 dp, the text, the text will going to be overflow. And this is the main problem while using the SP whenever we, we have to write our text in the limited area. Otherwise, we need to use the SP whenever possible in the case of text. So, and now let us change something here. So, let us change 40 dp to 40 SP to 40 dp and run our application once again. And you can see that this button is, and you can see that all of the texts are coming up nicely and the text is, is still large you can see that they are still large so we can draw the five conclusion from this example and they are this dp and dip are the same thing we can use interchangeably whenever we want and we should not use this pt and pixel in the android application and the fourth point is that we need to use the DP unit whenever we want to define some layout. And we should not use the SP unit if we want to write the text in the small limited area. Otherwise, this is cause, this will going to cause the problem as we have seen in the past example. And we need to use the DP in those cases. So I hope you got the concept of how we can use the various units in Android so that we can get the nice user interface in our application so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next part